Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that I've received from many of our listeners, which is, can I get approved to sit for the PE exam without passing the FE exam if I have a number of years experience working in the engineering field? Before I answer this question, I wanna let you know that this video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. Now, before I answer the question, it is really important to know that there are several steps involved in order to become a licensed professional engineer. There is a lengthy application to complete that details your work experience right down to the number of months that you worked on each project. Crazy, right? The application must be signed by a licensed professional engineer for each project or job that you include. And of course, you must study for and pass the exam. Now, each state's application process is similar, but may vary slightly. You must obtain the minimum amount of engineering experience required in your state in order to become licensed. This is typically four years for someone possessing an ABET accredited bachelor's degree or eight years for a degree that's not accredited by ABET. Now with advanced degrees like a master's degree, the experience requirement can be reduced. Now, if your state has decoupled the exam, you may take the PE exam earlier than the experience requirement dictates. For example, you may be required to obtain four years of engineering experience. However, you can take the PE exam before the four year mark, but if you pass, you still have to wait until you obtain the four years of experience to actually receive your license. Now, if you're thinking, what's qualifying experience? Qualifying experience can usually be described as fitting into one of the following categories. Engineering design, engineering calculations, planning for engineering works, prep and review of engineering plans, prep and review of engineering specifications, and engineering analysis. In some cases, full-time engineering work experience obtained while completing your engineering degree, like an internship, can be counted toward your experience requirement sometimes at 50% of actual time, often with a maximum amount that can be claimed prior to graduation. Advanced degrees and foreign experience are often counted and verified in the same manner. So, no matter what, the minimum years of experience that you will have to wait before you officially have your PE license is no less than four years. Whether you decide to take it early and then complete your four years of experience, or whether you obtain your qualifying experience first. Four years is the minimum requirement in most states. Now, to get back to the original question, which was, can you get approved to sit for the PE exam without passing the FE exam? And the answer is yes. There are states in which you may apply directly for the PE exam without taking the FE exam if you have at least 12 years of engineering work experience that is acceptable to the PE board, where in five of those years, you are in responsible charge of engineering work. The National Society of Professional Engineers, or NSPE, defines responsible charge as the direct control and personal supervision of engineering work. That being said, remember that you will need to detail your engineering experience in a very specific way to get accepted to sit for the PE exam. And if you document it the right way, it will significantly improve your chances of being accepted to sit for the Engineering Principles and Practice Exam, or the PE exam. We published a complete video titled, How to Document Your Four Years of Engineering Experience, explaining the entire process that I will link to in the description of this video. 
I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will be published weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And this is the biggest exam of your career. And please ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a specific topic you want me to cover or a question you need answered. Pass the PE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam. Thank you.